So I've been the number one Zapier fanboy since I started automating businesses, but this is the reason I'm moving to make.com. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, this is completely different to what I normally do. However, I'm probably gonna start transitioning to more of a build-in public. I will still do uh, tutorial videos and stuff like that, but I am looking forward to just creating content more like this and talking about the why behind what I do and not always just the how. But anyway, I'm gonna jump into it, Zapier versus Make essentially, but why I'm moving to make.com. When I started automating, Zapier was like a breath of fresh air to me. I had never discovered the platform before. It was the first one. I'd never discovered automation before in that kind of no code sense. And Zapier was the first thing that I came, kind of stumbled across. And I drew the parallel back then that Zapier was gonna be the most user-friendly platform for me to learn on. And although I had like the, the mindset down and the, um, the thought process of how to automate things from my coding background, just like different logic and different, just different kinds of things that can be done, I already had that kind of in place and I just knew Zapier would be the easiest way for me to pick this up. So I started automating on Zapier, obviously, you know, uh, it's probably one of the most expensive options out there. And I think that it is great for people getting into it like I was. However, over time, I've realized there are some limitations to Zapier that um, you can't exactly get around just by the functionality that they have. And the reason that is, is because I think they wanna keep it to a certain level. So whether that be uh, targeting people who wanna just pick up Zapier and, and start running with it and get um, like two to three step uh, actions done, if that makes sense. Whereas something like Make has the potential to go absolutely cataclysmic. Now, I didn't realize when I was building in Zapier that I was probably going to transition to Make at some point in time and I didn't realize how powerful Make actually was. Now, this has only been in with, this has only been with the last like three weeks where I've realized how powerful Make is. Um, and it's kind of been really confronting because I realize now how much more powerful my automations can be and how much greater the capacity is using make.com. Now, make a uh, integramat well, i think when i started it was integramat i used to shit on like i <laughs> i was not a fan i thought it was too complicated um too uh the user interface wasn't familiar enough to me and i couldn't pick it up quickly so i wrote it off very quickly however I think that was just me being really ignorant and looking back now, I kind of wish I'd spent the time learning make.com and if I could kind of have my time again, I would probably go back and learn make.com even if it took me a little bit longer to you know, get up and running. So it's interesting how, how times change. I felt that I wanted to get back into like scripting, like coding scripting. Um, and doing these automations, I would say the, the old school way, which is using code. However, I found a happy medium with, with Make. So what I'm going to do now, obviously I have clients using Zapier, I have my Zapier, and I've got a bunch of automations in there that run and run in my client's accounts and my accounts, but how am I gonna approach that transition phase? Uh, there's a couple of things that I need to consider in that. I will just start building in Make. <laughs> Which is, which is good. So every uh, client that I take on now, whether it be a simple automation, whether it be a complex automation, I will build it inside Make. And when it comes time, I will move over the crucial, business crucial processes from example, my Zapier to a Make account. Now, the main, the second, other, like the second major reason for this is cost. Zapier in itself, although it's only like $100 a month, is expensive. Whereas the equivalent of make is only about $30 a month and we're talking Australian dollars right now. Now, that's fine for me. Like I don't mind paying a premium for Zapier. However, when it comes to clients, for some reason, the reoccurring cost of Zapier can be a bit of a hurdle. Even if they're paying upfront, you know, a, a build cost for me, Sometimes that payment of, of the platform can become a bit of an issue. So 
I am always looking for ways to make my automations cheaper and more efficient. And one of the ways I can do that is by changing platform. So it's interesting to see how that will impact uh, my clients as well, uh, impact myself. And I'm really looking forward to kind of the transition period and, and, and using Make. So again, this is a bit of a different video, uh, a bit more authentic as well. Um, I've done videos like this in the past, uh, but for different businesses. So I prefer this kind of raw format. Um, and uh, man, this might only get like three views or whatever, but I'm keen to, you know, uh, push it through. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you have any questions about the transition or whatever, um, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Peace.